Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Hector. Huge thanks to Hector and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Hector reached out asking for a graveyard deck led by Cathro Aspect Warper with a budget of $200, and I was more than happy to help. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Cathrol Aspect Warper is a 5-mana 3-3 legendary nightmare insect. When he enters the battlefield, we put a flying counter on any creature we control if a creature card in our graveyard has flying. We then repeat this process for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. We then put a plus one plus one counter on Cathrol for each counter put on a creature this way. So, if we have enough creatures with enough keywords in our graveyard, Cathrol becomes an enormous, unstoppable killing machine, which explains the nightmare part of his creature type. So we'll want ways to fill our graveyard and maybe some reanimation effects, but we'll need more than that to build a functional commander deck, and for that, we turn to our handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. As I'm sure you've heard by now, this channel is sponsored by Ultima Guard. Ultima Guard makes these beautiful solid color play mats, like this one in a gorgeous shade of crimson. One of my favorite things about Ultima Guard is their vibrant color palette. This mat is surprisingly thick and much smoother than other mats I've used before. And since it's my favorite color, this one will probably be my go-to from now on. Find it if your local game store carries Ultima Guard products, or click the link in the video description to go to their Amazon store. One more thing before we get started. I've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV over on my other channel, Musings by Danon. If you want to pop in and ask some questions, chat about Commander, or just hang out, you're more than welcome to. For right now, I'm streaming on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Sandstep Citadel, Indatha Triome, Murmuring Bosk, Godless Shrine, Overgrown Tomb, Temple Garden, Isolated Chapel, Woodland Cemetery, Sun Petal Grove, Tainted Field, Tainted Wood, Canopy Vista, Scoured Barrens, Jungle Hollow, Blossoming Sands, Caves of Koilos, Lanoir Wastes, Blighted Woodland, Evolving Wilds, Bajuka Bog, Gavany Township, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, Croson Verge, Myriad Landscape, Nesting Grounds, Three Plains, Three Swamps, and Four Forests make up the land base for our deck. Sakura Tribe Elder, Wood Elves, Karametra God of Harvests, Farseek, Nature's Lore, Rampant Growth, Far Wanderings, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Ramin Up Excavator, Sky Shroud Claim, Cultivate, and Kodama's Reach allow us to ramp and stay ahead of the curve. Fauna Shaman, Skullwinder, Corpse Connoisseur, Gravebreaker Lamia, Sidisi Undead Vizier, Liliana Vess, Entomb, Buried Alive, Gerard's Orders, Final Parting, Unbreakable Bond, Unburial Rites, Eerie Ultimatum, Animate Dead, Greater Good, Vorinclex, and Old Stick Fingers all help us to dig through our deck, put creatures in our graveyard, or pull them back out from the graveyard and onto the battlefield. Kunaros, Hound of Athreos, Acidic Slime, Archon of Valor's Reach, Bane of Progress, D 
D-Spark, Beast Within, Generous Gift, Swords to Plowshares, Return to Nature, Mythos of Nethroi, and Fracture help to keep our opponents in line. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk and Dune Blast help to reset the board as needed. Basra Tower Archer, Wilson Refined Grizzly, Vampire Nighthawk, Audric Lunark Marshal, Oketra the True, Slippery Bog Bonder, Avenging Hunt Bonder, Cairn Wanderer, Sunblade Angel, Akroma Angel of Wrath, Zatalpa Primal Dawn, Shieldred Whispering One, and Akroma Vision of Ixidor round out our deck and help to grow our commander. We've also got Daring Fiend Bonder, Lightning Greaves, and Swiftfoot Boots for protection, as well as Together Forever, Living Death, and Breach the Multiverse to help support our plan. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, right on target. 17 pieces of card advantage, but a lot of that is for filling our graveyard. 11 pieces of interaction, 2 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Bajukabog and Kuranos Hound of Athreos, 1 sudden I win card in Living Death. Now, some of you are wondering why I would include Kuranos Hound of Athreos in a reanimator deck. I didn't. I included Kuranos Hound of Athreos in a graveyard deck. He works as a stacks piece, shutting down flashback or underworld breach effects. So we'll want him on the battlefield if any of our opponents are running Red Blue X. But he's also got three awesome keywords, so we can just toss him into the graveyard otherwise. Reanimation is the backup plan of this deck, not the primary win condition. If we can make Cathral Aspect Warder an 11-11 Double Striker, we don't need to reanimate anything. We can just kill our opponents as Garfield intended, with combat damage. Are you running a Cathral Aspect Warper deck? What's your secret deck tech? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danon. There's a new $5 player tier. Joining this tier will give you access to our private Discord, as well as the power to vote on upcoming content. I wish I could make every video that gets suggested to me down in the comments, but there's just never enough time. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Buffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Alex, Cookie, Borgie, Jake, Exiled Rogue, Manassas, Noswin, Pedro, Aranor, Tom, and Echo Fox. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.